In this chapter, we'll take a look at the PWM module on the TM4C 123G H6PM. Pulse width modulation, or PWM, is a widely used technique to digitally encode analog levels. High resolution counters are used to generate a square wave of a given frequency, and the duty cycle of that wave is then modulated to encode the analog signal. PWM is typically found in motor control, servo positioning, lighting, and switching power supply applications. The TM4C 123G H6PM has two PWM modules. Each PWM module consists of four generator blocks and a control block which determines the polarity of the signals and which signals get passed to the pins. Each of the generator blocks produces two independent output signals of the same frequency or a pair of complementary signals with deadband generation. Deadband generation protects H-bridge motor driver circuitry. Four generator blocks times two outputs per generator provides eight total outputs or four pairs. Each PWM generator has the following features. A single 16-bit counter, two PWM comparators, and a PWM signal generator. The 16-bit counter has down or up-down count modes and an output frequency which is controlled by a 16-bit load value. The load values updates can be synchronized with the output signal between generators or between modules. The generator will produce an output signal at the zero and load values. The PWM comparator update values can also be synchronized and an output signal will be produced on a match. The signal generator output is constructed based on actions taken as a result of the counter and the PWM comparator outputs to produce two independent PWM signals. The PWM generators also feature a deadband generator and a flexible output control block. The deadband generator inserts programmable deadband delays into the two PWM output signals to protect half H bridge circuitry. The deadband generator can be bypassed, leaving the PWM signals unmodified. The output control block provides PWM output enable, polarity control, and fault handling for each PWM signal. Timers can be synchronized across the generator blocks as can the timer comparator updates. The control block provides an interrupt and status summary register for all the PWM blocks. Each PWM generator can directly initiate an ADC sample sequence. Remember that there are two PWM modules per device. Note the control and status, interrupt, and output control registers shown on the left. All four PWM generators go through the output control block before reaching the pins. Each PWM module contains four generators for a total of eight per device. Note the control, timer, and comparator control registers on the left. For our lab, we'll be primarily interested in the control, load, and count register shown. In lab 15, We'll configure one of the PWM outputs to generate a suitable frequency to control a radio control servo. We'll then use the switches on the launch pad to change the duty cycle or pulse width of the control pulse. Note that in order to run this lab, you'll need to acquire and modify a servo.